This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Two of these at a time. Shall I tell them how the magic happens around here? Yeah, sure. Why not? We we do the two. Let two, them in on the magic. Two at a time, okay. Uh, two at a time, and uh, he just put on the hat because he said we want to make it look like it's a different week. Right. Now nobody's going to remember last week that you weren't wearing the hat. Uh, but I'll remember. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, so anyway, I've been sitting here talking to Stephen Kravitz, and now we do uh, our discussion number two. Right. And I'm sitting here a lot. Lately, when I sit a lot, my back is oh, really? killing me. Yeah. I have lower, this lower back pain that refuses to go away, you know. Do so, you take anything for it? Uh, 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 it well, no. I, I don't have any cocaine in the house, so, uh, no, I, I, do I take anything for, uh, sometimes I'll take like an ibuprofen or I'll right. take, you know, something like that, but I, it's, it's pretty, pretty, meh, you know, it's the way I am, I'm screwed up. Uh, it's life. We, we just, you know, the getting old ain't for sissies, I mean, I don't want to gripe about it because you're getting old and then you'll gripe about your aches and pains and you know so how are the teeth doing this is what we talk about how are the teeth doing teeth are doing fine so you're not used to them right yeah 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 okay that's fine you don't find you have trouble talking or anything like that um i have to emphasize things i don't i it's, it's not as uh fluid as it once was with my real teeth yeah so if you got up and did comedy have you done it you've done your act since you had the teeth put in no. No. Do you think you'd be able to do it okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. In other words, you're not going to do some rapid fire uh, repartee and then your teeth are come flying out while you're, <laughs> while, that would be funny. while you're doing it. You know. I just get, because I, I guess I'm willing to pay the money for it, but I, I get implants if, if, if I had right. to lose a tooth because I just, uh, you know, false teeth are a problem. Although these are these things, I'll tell you, when I had my first um, stuff done, my first um, implants done, they gave me a thing called a clipper. It's a little, right. you know, and you just put it like that in there. And uh, it's meant to, number one, keep the teeth spread. And right. secondly, it's so that you cannot have a tooth missing. Okay? So that was fine. That's all well and good. Okay? But... Uh, it, it was um, uh, it was terrific, and when I finally lost a tooth back here, I said, "Can you get me a clipper? Because I would rather have one of those. Because every morning I would just pop the thing in, right. and I'd forget it was even in there. You yeah. know, they were terrific. Did you ever have a clipper at all? Uh, for the top. For the top. Okay. So. I, you know, I really like the clip. And then I, when I went and got it recently, got an implant going or tooth pulled, I said, I would like a clipper. And they said, oh, we don't do those. So why don't you do them? They said, oh, well, you could swallow them. And I'm going, okay, so come out my ass. What the, what's the, you know, the big deal? Right. And, and I love those clippers. I would, I, I think the reason they don't let you have clippers is they want you to buy the implant. Right. Of course. Of course you know? they do. But they get they make you buy the clipper as a halfway measure while the tooth is healing, right? As it were. So, but I love those clippers, and I I know one guy that got them, but my dentist won't give out a clipper. They say, oh, we don't do those anymore. Those are not considered good." And I'm going, "What's wrong with them?" You know? Right. 
They made my life a lot easier, and I really felt good about it. Yeah. So anyway, how's everything at uh, at uh, at your job? At Lowe's. Yeah. I had a guy flip out on me. Flip. Wait a minute. Oh, please. Well, he's like, he's got money in his hand, and he's telling me it's cost this much, and I and I, I I scan it, and it's a, it's more than what he's saying, and he's like screaming at me. He's like losing it. Finally, he says I get a military discount. And once I pushed that in, it was the price that he had, he had in his hand. It was the exact number. So if he had told me he had a military discount before he flipped out, we would have saved a lot of yelling. Yeah. So, and I finally said to him, at one point he's yelling at me. I said, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I mean, it, it comes up, this number, that's the number it is. Finally, at the end, he flips out and he says, I have a military discount. Well, why didn't you say that 10 minutes ago, you jarhead? You didn't say you, you didn't say you, you didn't say you jarhead, did you? No. You, no, I didn't. That that the word jarhead was in your brain as you said that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So did he apologize? No. He didn't apologize for the fact that he didn't mention that he had a military discount? No. Wow. How much was the military discount? A couple of dollars. Is it worth it? <laughs> I think when you do a big purchase, it's worth it. Yeah, but, you know, come on, a couple of bucks. You know. And he should have mentioned that to you. He, no, he, yeah, before he flipped out, he should have Well, well how, it. how are you supposed to know he has a military discount? I don't. You have no idea he has a military discount. Right, right. Isn't that amazing? If people act that way. Oh yeah. Well, I love when people like they 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 have crumbled up money, and they like toss it at you. It's like fuck you. Don't toss the money at me. Don't throw money at me. <laughs> Put it out. You know, lay it out like a person. Hand it me like a person. Don't flip it at me. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And again, you're thinking that in your brain, but you're not saying it. No, I can't yeah. say it. You can't. I say get it. fired. You get fired, of course. I mean, they tell you you have to kind of put up with this crap, right? Right, right. Yeah, just bear with it. Don't take it personally. Right, especially as a cashier. As a cashier, yeah. Right. Well, you're going to probably get the big brunt of the problems. You're not as a salesman. You're not going to get that kind of thing. Right, you know? right, right, exactly. Yeah, uh, but, you know, I mean, uh, how many people pay in cash as opposed to credit? A tenth. Pay cash? Yeah. Yeah. Cash is just doesn't exist anymore. Well, some people have so much cash on them, you wouldn't believe it. Well, it, you know, uh, I'll ring it up, and it'll be 300 and some odd dollars, and I'll have cash. They'll give me $300 oh, I, bills. I understand that, though. See, I take, I go down to the bank every two weeks, or every month, rather, and I take out $300 in hundred dollar bills and I put it I, I very seldom spend any money that's out of my pocket I'm usually right. using my credit card or I'm using my Apple Pay or whatever okay um, and uh, you know so I do that and um, where, where was I going with this cash. you were talking about cash oh so I have this cash sitting here at home and I have almost I got up to the point where I had five thousand dollars in cash. Is that right? Yeah, I figured rainy day fund, right? But now the rainy day is becoming a hurricane, right? Nah, no kidding. <laughs> you know, so so now I decide I want to buy a new computer here, right? Okay. So I call up B and H, which is the electronics company here in New York that was had it, and uh, I said, "Do you take cash?" He said. And they're I, stupid of me to ask because they are what we would like to call in the business yids. Okay. Yeah, you know, and uh, they are the, you know, they got the pass and they got the... the oh, thing. really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're not open on Saturdays. Okay. And they said, are you kidding? Of course we take cash. <laughs> so I went down there and I gave them cash. Uh, and I had no problem with it. 
you know. Right. But if you go to Best Buy and okay. you walk in, you want to spend cash because maybe I want to get rid of some of this cash. I don't want it sitting around, and I may as well right. use it for something. And uh, I'm buying an electronic thing. Maybe it's 400 bucks, okay? And I go in, and I give them the cash. They don't know what to do with it anymore. Is that right? They look at it like, is this something I've heard about called currency? Right. You know, and you go, yeah. Now, why don't you do something about it? You know, I mean, why don't you give me my stuff and take the money? And they have to go. Right. Then they're looking at every bill, you know, holding it up right. to the light. I mean, I'm going, God, you can't pay cash anymore. Now, when they come up with cash, like on a $400 item, what do you do? Oh, well, I can take cash. Yeah. Do you have to inspect every single bill? No. No. I don't know. I wouldn't know what to look for. I'm not a counterfeit expert. Oh, okay. Okay. We have a little pen to market. A pen to market? What are you marketing? Mar marking it for? You mark the, you mark the bill, and if it, if it stays yellow, it's good. If it turns black, it's not good. Yeah. Oh. And then you have to say to the customer, I can't accept this. Do you have another form of payment? Oh, that's why they do that thing with the with right, the pen. With the pen. Okay. And, it's a special pen. And and then is the bill permanently marked anyway? Oh yeah. Uh, in other words, it will show up black if it's bad, and it will show up what if it's okay? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Well, I just I wondered what that was all about. You know? Yeah. Uh, I thought they were just saying. Marking this one, marking this one, check, check, check. Right, right, right. But anyway, so I mean, trying to get rid of cash today is virtually impossible. You know, they always give you dirty looks. They think you're a drug dealer or something like that, you know. And I'm coming in with $100 bills. Here, you want, you know, right. I, like this last deal I bought was $2,000. So I had $2,000 bills and I gave it to them and they're, but they at at B and H they just went okay it's fine you know right they weren't going crazy about it but uh, yeah. most people though I imagine treat you nicely don't they yeah most people most people are really nice yeah yeah uh, and uh, have you ever made any major mistakes in adding up what they owe uh yeah I screwed up once mm -hmm. and what did you what did you do in that case. I got scammed for a gift card. You got scammed? For a gift card. For a gift card? Right, I made a mistake. Oh, you made a mistake on the gift card? Right. Okay, but don't you scan the gift card or something? Right, right, but he, he had a card, they put it in the machine, and then they said he wanted to cash back. So I gave him cash back, but the card didn't do anything. So I basically gave him $100 on the house that my draw came up $100 short, so I got called into the principal's office. <laughs> and what did they say? They said, you're not in trouble, but don't do that again. Oh, okay. No. So, right. Yeah. They probably, uh, they probably know they're gonna lose a certain amount of money. Right. Just in their normal transactions and so on right. and so forth. So you haven't been doing any comedy anywhere? No, there's really no place to do it here. Really? I have to go into Boston. And I, I go to bed early. I mean, I can't stay up late enough to do stand-up right now. Because I like tomorrow I have to be up at 5.30 to get there by 6. Oh, do you get to work by 6? Yeah. yeah, right. But what time do you usually get up? When I'm not working? Yeah. Nine, nine thirty. Okay, that's about when I get up. I get up at ten. Right. Yeah. So you stay up late. Yeah, not that late though. Not not like midnight or anything. I'm usually in bed by ten, eleven o'clock. And then you get up at nine? Yeah. When I'm not working. Boy, you're sleeping a lot. Well, I get up I wake up in the middle of the night. How many times? Just once, but I'm usually up for an hour or so. 
Oh, I see. Okay, so it's just a wake up thing. It's not having, right. not having to go pee. No, well, I, I go pee anyway. Yeah. But you know, I can't go back to sleep for a while. Boy, last night I don't know what it was, but I woke up in the middle of the night and I said to Marjorie, "I got to turn on the air conditioning." And it was only something like seventy-two degrees outside. But it was but so it was humid, muggy. so humid in the apartment, I couldn't go back to sleep. And oh, I kept really? waking up, and every time I woke up, I figured I got to go pee. If I wake up, I don't have to go pee. Right. Okay, but if I wake up, suddenly I have to go pee. So I woke up about three times last night because it was so hot. You know, uh, it, 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 the weather has just been... I think ghastly this year. You know? Right. I haven't gone out much. I don't take many walks because it's too hot out there to walk. Right. You know, plus the fact that I'm just getting increasingly lazy. You know. That makes two of us. And, and now my back is killing me and I can't walk. I'm getting too old to walk. Yeah, you know? right. Don't stop walking. Yeah, but uh, anyway. Uh, Excuse me, can I blow my nose? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Let me just cu kill my mic here. There we go. Uh, I don't want people to hear me, hear me blow my nose. So anyway, uh, uh, let's see here. So you, you haven't been doing any comedy. So what, what is the average day for you now? I go to work. Mm-hmm. I come home, I have lunch, then I may usually take a nap. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take a nap after we're done. Oh, okay. All right. You know? That's good. That's good. Because I worked all morning. Okay, now how many days a week do you work? Three or four. Three or four. Wow. Wow. So, what, if I were to say to you, what was the best job you ever had, I bet you'd say comedy, right? Oh, yeah, stand-up. Yeah. And it, do you, it, did you consider that the same job? I mean, if I say a job, usually people will think of a place they had to go every day. Right, right. And, and, and work. And then uh, you'll say, oh, well, the best job I ever had was, okay, and then they take it from there. Uh, I... Um, you know, I mean, the best job I ever had, I could actually say the best job that I ever had. Because, oh, well, because I worked at various radio stations, so I could right. talk about, you know, this was the better radio station. The best station I ever worked at was, I think it was in San Francisco, I think it was Live 105, I think it was that whole experience. You that know, was wild. You know, it was a wild show. And it was crazy times. Yeah. It was good times. Yeah, very good times. Uh, everybody was making money, including me. You know? Right. Yeah. No. Everybody. Everybody was making money, and and I was helping in that process. Which yeah. Made, no kidding. Which made me feel good. You know. You were a big help. Yeah. I mean, I didn't mind making anybody more money. Right. You know what? What I did for you is I probably made you increase your price that you charge at a club. Oh right, absolutely. Because you did my show, you were a regular on my show, and so therefore right. you could come on when I say, "So where are you playing, Steve?" Right. You know they were getting a free plug. Right. You know, in fact, did, did any of the clubs say, "Well, you know, we want to hire you, but make sure you go on the Bennett show to plug it." Oh yeah. They did. Oh, yeah. They did tell oh, you to do that. Oh absolutely. Yeah. That was part of the gig. Uh, uh, right. The gig was, was doing your show. So if you didn't do my show, you could still work, but you wouldn't be able to get the same price. Probably not. Probably not, yeah. Right. Because I always felt bad about those people I wouldn't have on. And, and it wasn't that I wouldn't have them on because I didn't like them. I wouldn't have them on because there's certain people, here's how it worked. When you did my show, you were either good on radio or you weren't good on radio. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, so that was always a major consideration of why I would have somebody on. You were very good to have on because people can tell right here, you're just conversational with me. Right. You know, right. and that's really what it took. Conversational, be funny, 
but be funny within the conversation. Be a good right. ad. Be a good ad libber. Okay. That's right. But if you had a be guy, a if you had be a, a yeah. But if I had a guy who basically all he would do when he would come on was do his act, right? Uh, that didn't play well with me. So I always felt sorry when there were certain people that I didn't want to have on because they just didn't work well on the show. There were some people I liked a lot. There was one comedian, Jim Samuels. You may remember right. Jim, uh, who uh, was he won the San Francisco Comedy Competition, as a matter of fact. And yeah, I, the Holy City Zoo. yeah, and I liked him a lot, but he wasn't very good on my show. Is that it, right? it didn't work. He didn't work well within the show. Within the confines of the show. Yeah, so I always felt bad about not having him on, you know, because I liked the guy. I truly, right. truly liked the guy. So it, in my judgment, sometimes I would have comics on I didn't like particularly, but I knew that they worked well within the context of my show, so right. they would come on, they were working for me, you know. Right. My attitude always was, hey, be as funny as you want, get as many laughs as you want. I'm still going to be here tomorrow. Right. Okay, and, and you're going to make sure that I am here tomorrow by right. being funny today. The beautiful thing about your show is the live audience, because you would get immediate reaction. You, you know, I did a lot of radio stations when I was on the road. Every time you do a gig, they'd want you to do the local radio, and they'd give you like 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, and they, they feed you questions so you can do material. You yeah. You know, they yeah. want you to do material. Well, that's what but, no, nobody knew how to, how to handle comedians around the country. Right. You know, and nobody did comedians till I did them. Right. Until I right. showed that it was a, you know, it was a good, good thing to, to it was good to be in the comedy business. It was know? a viable option. It was a viable option, and and so consequently, they would uh, say, okay, now before we go on, I'll say this, and then you say that, and then I'll say right. this, and then you can do that piece of your material. And blah, blah, blah. No, you never heard that from me. I never even talked to you before. When we weren't on the air, I don't think I talked to you. Right. Because I didn't want to have anything go on between you and me off the air that wasn't going on on the air. Right, right. right. And so uh, the, the thing that always bothered me was around the country, how many people didn't know how to handle comics. Yeah, well, no kidding. It, and they, and they, on top of that thing that made the maddest of all was it was their show, and if they weren't getting the laugh, they didn't respect you for getting one. Right. You know? And the right. fact was that, you know, you, you have to, if you're going to be a good host of a show, you have to have a really good ego that says, I don't care who gets the laugh, just as right. long as there is one. Right, exactly. You know? Exactly. And, and these people around the country never realize this. You know? And it was, uh, it was, not, it was not a good deal all the way around. I, I felt sorry when you guys went out on the road and had to deal with that. Yeah, no kidding. Well, there was a time there was such a boom in San Francisco. You could make a living just staying in San Francisco. Yeah. And, and like San Francisco, Walnut Creek, you know, uh, where, where was Ruth's Tea Feathers? Santa Rita, Santa Rosa? No, it was in Fremont. No, Fremont, no. Rooster Tea Feathers in San Leandro. San Leandro. San Leandro was was Tommy, Tommy T's. Where was where was Rooster Tea Feathers? Probably San Jose, somewhere like that. Yeah. No, it wasn't that far. Anyway, Rooster Tea Feathers. Uh, why can't I remember what town that was in now? Wow. Well, anyway. Uh, I can close my eyes and see the venue. Oh, of course I can too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean, it was it was it was a good time we to be had by all. You know, it, it was a great economy, and you could stay in San Francisco. By the way, quickly, you know who? Do you remember Don McMillan? Yes. He recently wound up on America's Got Talent. I know, I saw him. Yeah, he didn't do bad. He did a good job. He did a very good job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he car he started doing corporate shows. And doing a presentation, you know, PowerPoint presentation, he turned that into a comedy act. Right. And right. he's done a very good job of it. 
I'm ha I was happy. Right. I was happy to see he didn't he didn't get to the finals, but I was happy to see that he got as far as he did. Hey, listen, yeah, he got, what? He got pretty far. He got pretty far. Yeah, yeah. He got into the semifinals. Right. Yeah. He just didn't make it to the finals. But they even had him on the final show anyway, doing a piece yeah. for him. So good for him. Good for him. You should have such luck. I hope so. Anyway, that's Stephen Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen. The next time we see him will be probably next week. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, he's taking off and doffing that pork pie hat. And uh, we will say goodbye to him, and he will say goodbye to us. Goodbye, Stephen. Goodbye, Alex. Lady. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, yeah, there goes uh, there goes Steve Kravitz. Uh, we'll see him again next week, I guess, you know. And uh, we have hardly anybody listening to us tonight. That's wonderful. And then as soon as I stopped talking to Steve, it went down by one person, which shows how much people care about having me here, okay? Oh, boy. You know, I was just, I was just thinking about all that's going on lately. And, I, you know, like, I was, Marjorie again, you know, she watches MSNBC like it's, uh, I don't know, it's the only thing on in the house. I mean, literally. And what have they been doing for the last 48, 72 hours? They've been reporting on the uh, hurricane that hit Florida. Well, I just said to myself, gee, you know, NBC owns the Weather Channel. Is this supposed to be the Weather Channel now that they're doing? You know, I mean, what is this? I, I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. Uh, they just, just talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk. And nothing changes. Nothing gets any worse than it was. In fact, it got a lot better today. I mean, the, you know, the hurricane had passed and gone off to different areas off the Florida handle. And um, they're still talking about it. Oh, look at the devastation. Isn't this horrible? Yes, that's what hurricanes do, okay? And it's very sad. It's very sad when this sort of thing happens. Uh, and it happens all the time. But it's amazing, you know, you got a guy like uh, uh, DeSantis, the governor down there, who now has asked Biden for lots of funds to help the state, which, of course, you know, I mean, I think Biden already said he was going to give funds to the state, but no, DeSantis had to implore him to give them stuff. When I remember a few years ago when Hurricane Sandy hit uh, the, uh, the New York area, he didn't want to give money to them. Didn't want to give money to them. So, I mean, come on. You know, I mean, uh, I just hate that kind of hypocrisy. You know, be for all of the people all of the time. All right? Okay. So anyway, so that 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 part was getting to me. It's just too much of it. And then then the six six thirty news comes on, which at least I wait for because hey, they'll have some international stuff. We'll find out what's happening in Ukraine and so on and so forth. Literally, eighty percent of that newscast tonight was about Florida, and I just said, you know, what is this? The and now here's Bob with the weather. You know, here's here's Lester. You know, with the with the uh, with the weather, do you, do you realize that we have a news anchor named Lester? Anyway, so anyway, I just you know, I sat here all day, kind of going, eh. I well, I don't leave the house that much, so I I'm I'm stuck in the house with the television set to MSNBC, and it's just it's starting to drive me crazy. And you know, I'm a real lefty. You know, I'm I'm all for it. You know, at, uh, uh, let me see. It says here, Phil sent four pictures. Oh, okay. Well, I'll look at the pictures later, Phil. Uh, anyway, uh, nobody's calling today. We got one person waiting, and it's one of our usual suspects. But otherwise, we have nobody out there. 
And oh, by the way, Jack tonight will be on the last night. He had troubles. Okay, um, he couldn't figure out uh, how to get Skype on because every time he used the password, it didn't work. Uh, and I finally figured out what the problem was. I said, "Well, did you have your caps key lock, cap lock key on? Because then, if you put in the password, it's not going to take it, right?" And uh, he said, "No, I." Uh, I checked ahead of time to make sure that wasn't, yeah, I said, okay. And then today I was thinking about it. And what he was probably doing is the password we have starts with a uppercase character. And then you go to all lowercase characters. All right, okay, you got that? Don't try to figure it out because that's the way most of the passwords are. Uh, and so I think that what he did is that he didn't hit the caps the caps and just type the letter he hit cap lock and then tried to type it all because when I went after the sh uh, uh, last night after I got off here I went on with on to him and I went on to his uh, his uh, computer because I can from here and uh, I typed in the password and he got on with Skype you know then he had problems with the audio and everything else all these things which I understand because when I haven't done a show for, you know, say two or three weeks, like at the Christmas time we come back, there's always something wrong, something I didn't do, all right? So uh, I understand that. But the thing is, the other thing he did is he called me while I was doing my show here, and how does he expect me to do anything while I'm doing the show here? Well, anyway, that was all taken care of. So tonight, Jack should be on without any problem. So I'm, I'm hoping he's going to be okay. Well, we only have one person here, and that is, uh, let me see here. That so, is, uh, that is uh, 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 Jeff. Okay, here he is. There he, there he is. Hallelujah. How are you? Hello there, Jeff. Nobody. Nobody. Well, I don't know. There's no Yankee game on. So no, I, it has nothing to do with that. I, I, think, I think people are just getting too used to this show being here. You know, they're just, it, it's just taking it for granted, and, and uh, maybe I take them for granted too. So, uh, you know, I, 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 I again am, you know, d definitely been thinking for quite a while about either moving this to one night a week uh, or uh, uh, not at all, but probably one night a week, because I'm tired anyway all the time. Yeah. And I think I'm tired when I come on here because I think I'm j just bored, you know? You know how you get tired when you're bored? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're, you know, you've been doing the same stuff for every day for the last three years. Yeah, I tried to figure out how to, how to, <laughs> how you to know, jazz it up a little bit. Yeah. How to jazz it up. But, you know, I don't have the same ideas I used to have, you know. And when I see that the numbers of people who are watching the show are going down, like right now it's incredibly low, uh, uh, you know, from what it was, uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, I start to say to myself, yeah, maybe it's time to, you know, just stop it, you know. Well, but, it's strange at all. Uh, I don't know. In five, 10 minutes or so, a whole bunch of people will start well, we have two more people. We have Alan, yeah, who always calls, yes. and uh, then and then uh, uh, somebody else. That this is what happens, folks, when you don't call. Okay, <laughs> this is what happens, right, Phil? Mm -hmm. Phil calls. Wait a minute! It's an all Jew show. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's a it's the Jewish new. <laughs> That's right. Thursday is Jews only. It's it's Jews day. Yeah, I, I I heard you say that you only had Jeff, and uh, Jeff's a great guest. But uh, I figured I fill a hole here. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, what what kind of friend would I be if I let you struggle? Well, I'm not struggling. You know, well, I mean, I just, yeah. I just, I'm disheartened. Just I mean, complaining. the fact that you're calling me out of pity doesn't make it any better. <laughs> it's not pity. I just stepped up if nobody else did. That's you know, all. It's just, uh, hey, let's all call Alex out of pity. That's yeah. right. Well, you'll take it any way you can get it. Right. Exactly. 
you know. I, I sent you some pictures. I didn't realize I had taken a nap, and I didn't realize it was uh, five after the hour, six after what the hour. What pictures did you send me? Uh, my buddy is in, it lives in uh, Florida uh, uh -huh. on the intercoastal, mm -hmm. and he has a, like a 60-foot Hatteras that he's been living on. Yeah. And uh, uh, that got beat up, and he also has a sailboat uh, that sunk, and the docks are all broken up, and you can't you can't dock there. There are no marinas. The, uh, he said they uh, he just got on the news uh, that uh, you know er everything is messed up there. All the all the boats are are all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you if you look at those pictures, you can see the devastation uh, that uh, he's he's gotten. He's in Central Florida. Yeah, and, yeah. like three toothpicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, here, here, Jack Bishop has joined us, folks. Looks more like Larry King with the hair sticking out, right? Well, he hey. looks like a guy who's been in the hospital a lot. Yes, you know, the, the hair, he needs a haircut, oh, you know. Well, we have two more people. We have Alan, yeah. who always calls. Oh, here we go. Uh, then, it, um, why, why do we have, why, why are you watching the show? Oh, Jack. Okay, um, he's become the new Jeff. Uh, hey, Phil. Yeah, I think somebody's audio is on. Wait a minute. Yeah. No, you show. Hey, <laughs> hey, wait, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A Jewish new. No, hey, you, wait. you've got the audio on from the show, Jack. Oh well, let me kill that. Hang on. Yeah, please. Let me kill that. Hey, you know I'm a Unitarian. Granted, I'm a Hebraic Unitarian. If you know what that means. So no. no. He's a unitarian. You're one of the lost oh, what, tribe. What does that mean? Is what's a, Phil? Is that what you said? What does that mean? Hang on a second. It's I gotta, funny you should mention that click out something. because I'm a vegetarian. What it basically means is I will serve on a committee. I'll see you guys in a little while for the intersection. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he's poaching your show. <laughs> he, yeah, he's poaching. You know, no, no, it's fine. I, you know, I want everybody to listen to him and I want everybody to call him. Yeah. Uh, Back to the four Jews. Back to the four Jews. Uh, but uh, anyway. Um, uh, uh, why, why did he call? Uh, I think I, don't, I guess he to make if anybody knew, noticed his new hairstyle. No, I think he. I think he needs a haircut. I think that what happens is, you know, you you get in a hospital and then you get out of the hospital and you're in bed a lot because you can't yeah. walk. He's having problems walking, but he's going to have therapy and it's going to take care of it. You know, and he's going to be better. But he was in assisted living. Don't they give you a haircut? No, he, there? He, yeah, he was in assisted living, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they should give you a haircut there, but maybe they didn't. Yeah, you know. Maybe this is the cut he wants. Yeah. But you, he doesn't do a show with video, so it doesn't really matter. See if I can get all the hair to stick out. There's not much on the top. I got a reverse mohawk going. Really? <laughs> You, you know, uh, you're you're going to affect the uh, orientation of the planets with that shiny top of yours. You're one to talk. Hey, at least I didn't pay. At least I didn't pay fifteen thousand dollars for seven hairs. Yeah, well, <laughs> twenty years ago, it looked pretty good. No, it didn't. Yeah. <clears throat> you take the hair and you. Oh, here we go. Um, uh, here, here's here's Tony. Here's uh, it's his birthday, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Wait a minute. How old is Tony? Is, is it your birthday today, Tony? He's cl connecting to the audio. We are saying happy it, birthday it, to Tony. Oh. Is it your birthday I, today, Tony? Yeah, but I'm really, I appreciate I'm not really in the mood. Okay, then let's all forget all it. Right, okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, though. Cut him off. <laughs> He's not Jewish. What the hell is he doing on here? I, yeah, I heard right. you four Jews and the Catholics here. I'm not leaving the tip, I can tell you that. I'm yeah, but three of us have had prostate cancer, so, you know. I know, I'm, I'm included in the group now. Jeez. One, well, one's had a stroke and the other one's a cop. So. Oh, yeah. I remember, this is really, this is funny. When I, my mother was in the Jewish Home for the Aged in San Francisco, mm -hmm. I went to, I would go to visit her. And she was on this floor, and you, I, got, I got to tell you, it was almost nothing but women. Okay, that's all who's alive at that age. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 
And uh, there was the, only one guy there, and he used to play the piano for them. And I'm thinking, one guy and all these women, that, that would be a dream come true, right? Except they're all <laughs> in their 90s, all right? So, um, but I, every time I come, this woman, I would walk past her, and she would look up at me and go, you're not a cop, are you? <laughs> she was probably a gun mall. I'm going, what is that about? Every time I walk by her. You're not a cop. Hey, no, I'm Alex Bennett. Haven't you ever heard of me? Nope. Yeah, you're a cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she said, he, and I never could figure out why. Maybe because the last thing I look like is a cop, right? Maybe she, she dated Al Capone. Hmm? Maybe she used to date Al Capone. Uh, it could be. Could be. Yeah. But anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, so I'm tired again tonight. I'm. I think I'm just bored stiff. I think my whole life is so boring. I have nothing to do. I think about going out and then there's nowhere to go. What am I gonna do? The only good news I got was yesterday, my business manager sent me my tax, uh, um, my, my tax that had been done. He did the taxes and the results of that. And we're getting back like about $6,000, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. So, yeah. That's enough to take a trip. Hmm? That's enough to take a trip. Well, I'll get all those deductions for that high rent I pay. Mm hmm. Well, uh, there's no deduction for rent. No. There should be. Yeah. I mean, I remember when there were deductions for, I was telling Marjorie this yesterday, when I used to get uh, uh, deductions for interest and yeah. for tax, you know, if for. If I bought something and there was tax on it, I got credit for that. You didn't. Back in the mid '60s, my dad bought a boat because you could write it off as a second home. Really? Really? Uh, yeah. So it was. Uh, it was a tax. Yeah. Deduction. Well, they did away with this whole thing, and I. I it got to a point where I mean, I used to buy. My business manager said, "Oh, well, go out and buy stuff, you know, because yeah. you're gonna. You, you're not gonna have to pay, the the uh, tax on it." You know, you're not gonna you're gonna be able to take that off of your uh, off of your mm -hmm. taxes at the end of the year. You can't do that anymore. Thanks mm -hmm. to Reagan. But yeah, which really is wrong, I think, because I think you should be allowed to. You know, I have to pay basically. for my car. Yeah. Well, hey, here's car. the part I don't get. Okay. Uh, if I have I have my social security, right, and uh, if it comes out to more than it is, that I'm, what is it more than I'm taxable? They take, Some amount they, of money uh, you have to pay. You tax pay on taxes like on your on your social security. Yeah, I'm going. I'm still well, working well, and I pay tax on it. Well, no, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't understand why. But that's a I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it, you know that's something they should say. Hey, this is yours. Go ahead. Take you it, know, have it. You know, what, they, what? what they did was with one hand, they reduced the tax, but with the other hand, they reduced the loopholes. So, you, yeah. you, you know, you think that the tax is being reduced, but you really are paying just as much or if not more because you don't have the write-offs and the loopholes that you used to yeah. have. Uh, and so, you know, there's no free lunch. No, but it's simpler. No, but I'm just saying that it doesn't seem right to me that this is money that is, you know, you've, you've been paying into it all these years, and, you know, and now it's getting paid back to you. And it's supposed to take care of you because you're of a certain age where you probably need that money because you're on a fixed income or whatever. And they, all of a sudden they're saying, oh, but we're going to take taxes out on this. It's almost like you're paying tax on a tax. Yeah. You, know? you don't. You don't pay on life insurance if you're, uh, you know, so let's say your heirs get the life insurance. I don't think they have to pay tax on that. But uh, I, I don't see why the Social Security isn't like an annuity or something where, you know, but they're, they're out just to collect all the money they can. Yeah. There are only 22 people watching right now. What am I doing this show for? <laughs> well, why don't you start running some of the disaster uh, things in Florida? And uh, 
you know, uh, uh, yeah. some DeSantis. And, I mean, uh, folks, you know, if I was only going to get 22 people. stop there. It, it, you know, uh, Phil, you said DeSantis. Your DeSantis. microphone is too hot. Uh, uh, Alan, I didn't do anything. Well, yeah, something uh, happened. You, you might have it checked. There's a check mark you can uncheck for uh, oh. uh, what, what, uh, for microphone. Bill uh, said disasters. Sorry. Bill said disasters, and then he mentioned DeSantis. <laughs> He's a disaster. <clears throat> well, you're yeah. going to vote for him, aren't you? So we under the bus again. No. I just heard, I just heard crickets, Phil. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that, that 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 was his uh, his sphincter tightening. Well, today he begged. My friend Shecky called this one, by the way. He yeah. he 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 uh, today um, um, moaned and cried that he wanted Biden to give them relief. Okay, yeah. which Biden has already said he was going to do, but he nonetheless went. Oh, we need relief from the government. Ah. A few years ago, when we needed relief from Hurricane Sandy, which devastated New Jersey, literally devastated it. Huh? That was Obama. Yeah. When they gave money to Sandy, oh. DeSantis was one of the guys crying and yelling, don't give them that. They shouldn't get but that. Christie kissed them. Huh? Oh, yeah. Christie. Yeah. Christie was very happy with it. But DeSantis didn't like it. And now that he's got the same situation, oh, please give us some money. Quite frankly, I don't think they should give him money to Florida. You know. Oh, come on. You wait till you see those pictures. I, I saw them. I saw them. And you know how I feel about Florida. Well, <laughs> you know, and, and I think, quite frankly, I think that I, you know, I've been a. a I've been a, an atheist all my life, but I'm starting to believe in God because I think this was God's way of uh, getting even with Florida for what they did to immigrants. Um, and what they did during say? COVID. And what they did during COVID, too. Alex, yeah. you know what I can hear you saying to them on the radio? You've always wanted beachfront property. Well, here comes the water. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is that we have friends down there. Yeah, Mark's and down there. Mark, Mark's yeah. down there. Albert well, lives down in that area, although I don't think his area was devastated by this. Yeah, Where is Albert? Uh, I, I don't know exactly, but I don't think he's in that he's part He's in Naples. State. That's a nice area. Naples. Who? No, Mark's, in, Mark's Naples. in Naples. Yeah. Was. Nice. yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's okay, I think. He posted up a picture. Yes, he's, he's yeah. okay today? Yeah, he showed it to with his mother in it, so I guess they're okay then. Yeah. Uh, then, no, because he lives in a house. Uh, and uh, Well, I just saw a big room, so it could be a house. I just was going by uh, when he posted uh, My sister and mother uh, live outside of St. Augustine. How and uh, the water, they're on an island uh, where the intercontinental, uh, intercoastals on one side, two blocks away, and two yeah. blocks away is the ocean. And the the waters almost came together, and it surrounded their house. They, if they walked outside, they'd be knee deep in water. And uh, now the electricity's out. And uh, you know. I was looking at the news too, Phil, and I, I don't know if I told you this. Uh, they said a certain bridge in Florida fell. That the was the one Florida. that over by Mark Thor Thorner. Uh, yeah, that, who's ever island. in that area? They can't get out of it now. They got to get yeah, out that, of it. That's, that's, no, that's, that's an island. That's an island, right? Yeah. Holy shit. And uh, and then uh, some houses on that island caught on fire. Uh, I guess uh, electric lines are down, and their gas lines are broken, and uh, and some of the houses. Well, uh, obviously, I don't. I feel bad for those people. You know, yeah, I just Trump's hate. I, okay. I just hate this. Taking lobster tonight. Well, yeah. Well, Trump Trump got to have having having to come to New York today for a deposition. Well, Alan told me that uh, Trump drowned, and uh, he was they was pictures of him grasping <laughs> his his golf club, saying, "I won't give him up." That's kind of funny. That's uh, I got I got that's... news for you: whales don't drown. <laughs> Hillary threw a life jacket Phil, with holes in it. <laughs> I love I love what uh, Tony's name is. So, so Phil Meyer, be right. Oh, oh, Phil might be right. Not sure. Yeah, I didn't change it. Is that what? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. There, Phil might not be right. That okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, That's good. you know, you're talking about MSNBC, and I used to listen in the morning mm -hmm. 
just for waking up and stuff like that. Yeah. And anyway, once the Queen was on, that was the first thing I said, I know the Queen. I know who she was. She's dead. Sorry. Hope they get a different Queen or King or whatever. But who gives a shit? Trump's the supply. next thing mm. is the stupid Florida stuff. They talk about what the Florida is going to happen and who's going to die and all this crap all up and where it's going to go and where it isn't going to go and you're going to be destroyed. You should have left. You know, blah, 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 all this stuff. And of course, my, my uh, wife's sister lives there. So anyway, turns out they were on the telephone for all day long. And you know what happened for them? Nothing. <laughs> you know. oh, so they were, you're saying they ginned it up. But there mm-hmm. are areas that... They do. Yeah, no, that but here, here, really here's the thing. You know, you mean, they, they do gin it up, and they gin it up incessantly. I mean, That's incessantly. Right. You don't uh, need 24 hours of this. Well, at the very... At the very I mean, what <clears throat> are you... What are you serving by doing it the way they do it? Oh, well, you know, this is a tragedy and it has to be reported and blah, 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 blah. And the fact is that they're not doing anything to solve the problem. I don't see them picking up garbage down there. Lester Holt is down there and I'm going, why is he there? Why shouldn't he? He's just doing what he would do in New York. <clears throat> Stay in New York. Don't go down there and make things rougher on everybody because you're sitting there sticking a microphone in their face and saying, "Is it terrible down here? How flooded were you?" You know, I mean, <laughs> How I, I, are you? I get I get tired of that kind yeah, of stuff. Like and then on top of it, you know, they've got reporters down there who have been working the area for forever. All right, and uh, they're doing a very good job of reporting oh. it. All right. Probably a better job. Yeah, but they're doing. They know great, more about. Yeah, they're the doing location. a better job. And now you send down Lester Holt. What's that all about? You know. Well, what about Don Lemon uh, and the interview he had with the guy from the National Weather thing, trying to get the guy from the National Weather uh, Bureau to to say that it was due to climate change. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. And that, <laughs> and that uh, Florida, the the Republicans down there. Uh, brought it on themselves because of their climate change. Uh, well, I, I don't know if you want to blame it on climate change, but this is definitely a climatological situation. You know, okay. They, they, they get this many hurricanes every oh, year. Oh, Jesus. And Phil, 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 Phil don't, don't start. Please don't start tonight. Please. 1905. Please don't start. No, they get, it, yes, the number of hurricanes is not what's in question here. It's the it's severity the of those hurricanes. Right, yeah. and they Can said I? that based, based on... Oh, uh, I noticed that Kevin and, 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 and is mm-hmm. joining us, and Patrick has joined us, and that's because they took pity on me he because Phil's here. <laughs> you know? Well, I, I can go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Did you take pity on me? Yeah. Okay, well that's exciting. <laughs> Maybe a yeah. new sh- shirt. Sorry, I'm trying to get things adjusted. A new hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick, what a do you think? Hat. Here's a see. Here's the kind of stupid question a reporter would ask somebody. Patrick, what do you think of the hurricanes? <laughs> I think they're wet. I think they're very wet. And <laughs> windy. Yeah, and windy. Uh, yeah, and, and, and cold. Uh, Patrick, has have the hurricanes affected your ability to walk? Actually, I almost got picked up out of my wheelchair and almost could be mobile walking. Well, you, you almost flew. <laughs> it's like Wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah. Um, how's everything out there in, uh, in uh, let's see here, you're where exactly? I'm trying to, you're in Ohio, right? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Where in, where in Wisconsin again? Milwaukee. 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 Happy days. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. There was a lot of rain. It was wet. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but change the direction, please, and use a black uh, was magic cloud. marker. And he's he's down, doing what Trump did when he tried I, to control the weather. Well, well I, the thing I tell you, I tell you, 
one of them, again, another thing, Marjorie always, every day, waits for the weather report. See my hair. Which I consider the most useless, the most useless part of the news because they're usually wrong. Yep. Okay. I just charged this up today. This is a weather radio. Now, you think your show is boring? You should listen to this. <laughs> listen, you might ex it might make this show exciting by just turning the volume up on that thing, and we'll just sit back and listen to it. Yes, uh, uh, Tony. Right. My, mother used to do the, my mother used to do the same thing. She used to listen to the weather. Oh, it's going to be nasty tomorrow, right? Come on, you don't even leave the house at the time. It doesn't yeah. matter. Well, no, well, Marjorie l listens for the weather, and... And they, uh, you know, she, there's somebody that she, I, what I love is the weather people are good at reading what's on the weather map. Yeah, you know, they're not good at much else, but, you know, they'll say, Wednesday, it's going to be fair. And it says they're fair Wednesday, right? <laughs> just there, show the map and just say, read it for yourself. I, if you aren't, if you can't read it, you're a moron because you've got a picture of clouds and fair, you know? I just want to know what the temperature is. You tell me what it's going to be tomorrow. Once. I mean, you know, I when we used to work, you know, maybe you want to know what kind of clothes to lay out tonight yeah. for tomorrow, right? That's Open pretty simple. Window. But why do they need to spend yeah, three minutes? And also, in most markets, now we have, some, we have a couple of pretty good weather people here in New York. Uh, but uh, in in most other cities, they're really the comedy relief on the news. Here's Bob with the weather. <laughs> well, we're going to look at the weather. It's going to be, and I, well, I've got a hemorrhoid. You know, I mean, it's who just. Who was the guy in New York, Alex? Who was the guy who used to go, hello? He used to yell when he used to do the Well, weather. there was a guy, Tex Antoine, who he was said, the yeah. weather guy hello. here in New York. Like he said, but he, oh he lost like his you. job. Wasn't Bozo <laughs> the clown a weatherman? <laughs> Bozo, bozo the, was which original, bozo the clown? I thought it was the original bozo. No, there was the original yeah, bozo was a Capitol Records York. character that was created to sell seventy eights. The, the the one from the, there was one from New York, and I think it was the one that there used was to a bozo TV. in every market of the United States, and they were oh, different really? bozos. He now lives in Mar-a-Lago. He lives in Walla Creek. Wow. Creek now. Yes, you're yeah. getting really old there, Alan. Uh huh. Yep. Stale. Bozo the Clown Union, I think. Well, you know, they, really? No, but they had Bozo the Clown was uh, there. Were the cap, uh, Bozo the Capital Clown was what was his name? I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, Van, Vince Co Vance Colvig, I think, was his name, wow. and he did the the, uh, the Capitol Records Bozo the Clown, and then they started franchising Bozo the Clown out to various markets. The most famous one and the most popular one was the one in uh, Chicago. Uh, so, yeah, but but the, every market, had, just like every market had a romper room. Do you remember a romper room? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That was a boring. Yeah. A different yeah. teacher in each market. Little Alan Hello, time, and Tony. hello to little yeah. Jeff out there. Oh, yeah. I see, I you know, uh, little Kevin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you turn your mic down just a little bit, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> just turn it down. through that little mirror. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, turn it down. Okay. You can turn it to mute. I'd have to move Bill, it. and that would be okay too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could you move further away from it? Phil? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the water. <laughs> Could you turn it all the way down? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll yeah. do it right here. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm okay. trying to get a picture on the Grand Canyon. Yeah, a little back, a little further, a little further. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs> What's new out in your neck of the woods, Kevin? Anything? Oh, no, just uh, marching band season starting up, and I'm about ready to pull my head off my shoulders. What, what do you mean marching band season? This is the band that you do videos of and stuff? Yeah, my daughter's. Oh, your daughter's marching band. She marches? Oh, yeah. Last seven years she's been doing it, and I've been doing props and everything else. What does she, pl what does she play in a marching band? What, she... what does she play in a marching band? Play saxophone. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a regular Lisa Simpson. She's got a, yeah, she's got a lead in it this year. She's going to be doing a solo. You don't. You don't usually hear about uh, girls playing saxophones. Oh, oh, she does. She's good. She's good. Yeah, she is. Oh, great. She's great. got a lead in it this year. And 
I'm pretty proud of her. Yeah. How uh, how um, how old is she now? Uh, seventeen. She's in seventeen. Her senior year. So she's in her senior year. Yeah. Here we go. Here's Charlie Wallace, ladies and gentlemen. I'll send you something pretty, pretty interesting about the the thoughts of and the the amount of responsibilities and movements and things that they have to do in a marching band in one little three minute show. Really, really interesting. The director sent it out. It's like I don't know. It's like three million responsibilities and moves and finger moves and notes and all this other crap that they have to process in their minds in a three minute show or something. Are there requirements literally? Oh yeah. Each one. Is this for competitive marching? Yeah. So yeah. so you have to accomplish a certain amount of things within Yeah. Yeah. Within twelve minutes we we've got shows that we put on within twelve minutes from goal line to goal line. Put stuff on the field, yeah. get it done, take it off, the whole bit. And marching bands today are much more extravagant than they used to be. Yeah, they are. It used to be they just used to stand out in the middle of the field and play music. No, not no more. And now they do a whole bunch of choreography and everything. Yep. It's yep. terrific. Yep. It's terrific. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how you doing, Charlie? Pretty good. Yeah? Yep. Last last game, nobody showed up, so. Really? Ooh. It's kind of like this show. <laughs> yeah, but you still get paid. <laughs> they paid their fees so we get paid do people do a lot of people usually show up for your games yeah usually i do this is a this is actually the second to the last week of the season mm -hmm. so there are a lot of teams that are like oh and five or oh they're already out of it so they say screw it yeah yeah so so you don't do anything now until when no, I'm still. I, I don't have to umpire tomorrow night, but I no. do have to umpire Tuesday and Thursday next no, week. No, but when it's over with, the season's over with. Yeah, when the season's supposed to be over with by now, but we had so much rain yeah. before that we had all these rain makeups this week and next week. So I mean, so after you do finish off this season, which is in a couple of weeks, how long is it before you have to go? Do Immediately. It? Oh, we really? We finish up the Friday. The sixth, uh, seventh, whatever October, last Friday, and then October tenth, we start up again on for fall season. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. So it never stops. Yeah, well, we were supposed to have two weeks off this week and, and next week, but we had rainouts, and so we had to make them up. Yeah, and and you do what exactly? You you. I'm the umpire. I go out and I call balls and strikes and, and outs and safes and all that. Yeah. And take arguments. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to throw people out <laughs> when they get too rowdy. Yeah. They're out of here. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. wish I could talk to you about the news, but I've been deprived of it because no matter where I go on the dial, I'm just seeing people up to their ass in water. Yeah, that's it. 24-7 now, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and I, I, I just like to get... There was some other news today that they briefly mentioned, and I'm trying to remember what it was. They... Oh yeah, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Supreme Court Justice's wife spoke before the January sixth committee. Yeah, uh, and she had said she didn't do anything illegal. She didn't do, have anything mm -hmm. to do with the march on the Capitol or whatever. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. yeah. Uh, it was something else. I guess the there was a judge that overruled the special master on Trump's uh, having to uh, prove that his statement that the FBI planted stuff. So I guess what they're doing is they're saying, look, the special master was appointed to go through the documents and determine whether or not any of them uh, had nothing to do with the case or were protected by privilege or uh, uh, attorney-client privilege. And uh, because the special master, it seems, maybe doesn't like Trump, and has is using Trump picked the special Trump master. Trump picked him. How could he uh, not like Trump? It, 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 believe me, uh, there's a possibility. And so, what do you the, mean? There's a possibility. There's a, 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 there's a distinct possibility that most anybody you would get dislikes Trump. Okay. <laughs> so the judge. Not like he's Mr. Popular. Anyway, this went in Trump's favor and eliminated the uh, issue with. Uh, what the special master? Yeah, I don't believe you, Phil. Yeah. It was in the new. It was in the uh, 
New York Times, Post. right? No, Washington <laughs> Post. The Washington <laughs> what? Washington Post? See, the reason I don't believe uh, you, Phil, is you I get all this stuff wrong, then the next day I go and look it up, and you got enough. and you got it all wrong. I can find it. It was in. It was like on a Google News uh, um, uh, page where they have like five, six articles. I always go to Google News. That's where I get all my news. Google. Well, it, it comes on as soon as you get on it. Uh, Google Jenny Thomas. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, now, Phil. At least you know what I like about it when we challenge Phil on something like this. We don't have to hear from him for a half hour because he's trying to find <laughs> something. That will, uh, you know, that will justify Jeff, what he the, he said. Jeff Bezos's wife is now. What does that uh, have filing, to do with what we're talking about? I, I, it's, it was another uh, news thing, but she's filing for divorce from her second, the new husband. I wonder what's wrong with Jeff Bezos's wife. This is the second. Uh, yes, uh, Patrick. Oh, the New York Times two hours ago, judge overruled special master demand to Trump in document review. Thank oh, you very sure. much, Patrick. I appreciate it. You don't it. get the drink. Yeah, but that wasn't the New York Times, Bill. Well, it, the Washington I mean, Post carried I mean, the New York Times the New York article. Times. It wasn't the Washington Post, sorry. But my question is, so what's, what, the, what, what's the difference, Alan? Well, no, wait, wait, hold on a second. What, what does this mean is what I don't understand. Yeah, explain it to us, Phil. No, no don't ask Phil to explain Patrick, it to us. Got the let article in let front Patrick of explain it. All right, I'll, I'll read the first paragraph here. Mm -hmm. uh, a federal judge on Thursday set aside a measure imposed by a special master asking former President Donald J. Trump to certify the accuracy of the FBI inventory of the property it had seized from its Florida estate last month, overruling an arbiter she had appointed herself. Um, the decision included a six-page order issued by the Judge Eileen M. Cannon uh, was among several to ease demand by the special master, Judge Raymond Deary. Under the requirement he put in place in recent days, Mr. Trump's lawyers would have been forced to test excuses they had made in connection with the trove of documents taken from his estate at Mar-a-Lago. This is all getting very confused. I get yeah. to have a drink. <laughs> Wait a minute. Phil, <laughs> yeah. Phil, he just read it. What does it mean? It means that Trump uh, no, no. does not have to prove that. Uh, I don't think he, that's what it says. That's yeah, what I, I interpreted. It, it, it alleviates the, the need for Trump and his attorney to justify or. Yeah, but uh, if, if, you're, if you claim something. Like in his, their case, they were claiming that the FBI planted documents. That's right. That, that, that Trump then claims were his. Uh, and how could they be if they were planted? Uh, but uh, they, they planted documents, and, and the special master said, well, you've got to pr give us some kind of proof of this. You can't just say it. You know, it was but now they don't have to. Right. It, it, it says, it it, says, that makes no sense. It well, makes no sense to you, but it does to Trump. <laughs> Phil, hold it, okay? Uh, you know, it sure makes sense to Trump. Everything makes sense to Trump. Don't worry. Eventually, none of this is going to hold up. But the I'm fact is, and it. also, this judge, this particular judge, who was this judge? Where did this judge come from? This is the same judge that picked the, the uh, special master and, is that uh, the female? Yes. Oh, you mean the yeah. one that's in Trump's pocket? Yeah. yeah. The one yeah. that he appointed? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. This, you know what's going to happen? The they, they, but they then went to a appeals court yeah. who then uh, said, bad, said this woman was wrong. Right. So and what happens to I, that? Wait a minute. Let me finish, Phil, uh, huh? I was just getting a drink on you guys. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, I, it, it, it today. It's two hours well, ago. It, but, but the one, the person who said this is the judge who has been vilified by the appeals court. How does it feel? What? How does it feel when a, when a, when a, a judge sides Phil, with the Phil, Phil, I'm, did you hear what I said? Yeah. What did this I say? What did I say? The judge that was vilified 
uh, for uh, 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 her appointing of a special master. No, not for her appointing a special master, no. but that she was the one that was uh, al allowing Trump to get away with all this stuff. And then if they went, the Justice Department went to appeals court, who then said she was wrong. Yes, Charlie. Charlie? I think the appeals court said that she was wrong to say that the FBI could not continue their investigation while they were verifying these documents or whatever. Yeah, and they were and saying... So the FBI is doing their investigation while all this is going yeah, on. Yeah, but what happened to the original... What happened to the original judge in this whole case? Before this... Can I say cunt? Uh, you know... Sure, you can say that. It's your show. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know, I. This is this is not making a lot of sense. Yeah, what happened to the judge that made that signed the the uh, search order for uh, them to do the? Uh, I mean, simply, on? simply, the Trump people went back to this female judge who had been vilified by the uh, appeals court for making wrong decisions, and and uh, got her to then make this statement. So now we'll go back to the appeals court and we'll then say she's wrong to make that statement. And I mean, it's just going to be this game of ping pong for Christ's sake. They were sake. saying that it was wrong for the first judge that uh, launched, that signed the warrant for the raid on Mar-a-Lago. Uh, the, the right is so No, nobody said that. Nobody no, said that. Wrong. Nobody said that. Nobody I'm said saying. that. I don't care. Nobody cares what you say, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> So here's the here's an interesting twist to me. Phil says that he read this earlier, but when he got on the show, he said that he had took a nap for an hour. And so Patrick just said this just came out two hours ago. On the New York Times, but I read it this morning. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't say that. He read it on uh, uh, Washington uh, Post. Truth, Truth, Sh Truth Social. Yeah, no, yeah. it's the Washington Post. Yeah. And, uh, uh, no, all, all I'm saying is this thing keeps going back and forth and back and forth because all the lawyers for Trump are doing is trying to, they're trying to slow, slow the clock down. Okay? They're waiting until he dies and then it's over yeah. with. You know, um, but, <laughs> but they're not presenting anything. And the reason they're not presenting it is because they're lawyers and they have a lot to lose. They see what's happened to a lot of other Trump's lying lawyers. Yep. They've wound up in jail. They wound up with penalties and things like that, uh, and um, uh, I think that, that these lawyers just keep he he keeps telling them go back to court. Supposedly, Trump calls all his legal moves, all of them, and and these guys, also, you know, they're just being paid by him. I also read somewhere that they're challenge they're challenging this whole document thing on the fact that there is no precedent for it. No one's ever done it before. That's not true. Um, Clinton had a warehouse full of documents. Uh, Obama classified documents had it in a strip so mall. The, in, in, in a no, in Clinton a classified Obama documents. Obama did not have classified documents. Yes, he did. He had documents. No, he did. No, he did not. Classified did, no. top no. secret documents. And Hillary obviously had documents, and she just smashed the phone and and uh, bleach pitted the. Uh, hey, that's hey, Bill. Bill. Bill, look that up for us, please, real quick. Yeah, prove that that actually Guys, happened. Prove that actually happened, Phil. Yeah, okay. This is I'll the ask same bottle of bleach that Trump wanted to inject in his veins. Because yeah. apparently there is no record that this has happened before, that a president has taken classified top secret documents with him from the White House. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they've taken them maybe to a vacation place or something to do work. No, after his presidency has after ended. The presidency after won't. the presidency that's is, where, open, is over, you put them all in boxes and you give them to the National Archives. Right. Clinton had tapes uh, well, in his sock have drawer. to do that. They do it for you. I never heard that, Phil. Oh, that's because you don't No, listen. no, because I don't oh, have a lying okay. motherfucker like you calling me and telling me that. Well, next time I'll just I'll call you. <laughs> yep. Thank you. you didn't call next. I mean, I heard a lot of things about Clinton. Okay, I've heard a lot of things about Clinton, but the one thing I didn't hear about Clinton is that he had tapes in his sock drawer. All right, Patrick, you're better at looking this shit up than me. <laughs> oh, no, no, but Patrick's not. Saying well, well, that. Patrick, you've got homework. <laughs> <laughs> It's unwanted it's homework. It's a typical tactic that he would use, though. Uh, yeah. Bill. Yes. Hmm.
no, the, the, yeah, the, the, he would try and use some kind of precedent like that. Hmm. Well, it's never happened before, so let's use that. It'll hold things up. Yeah, that I don't understand. It's never happened before. Um, so if no, it's never defend, happened before they're because they, they're, they're, they're trying to defend something that hasn't been defended yet. Right? Well, congratulations, Donald Trump. You managed to commit a, commit a crime nobody has in the past because they, <laughs> you know, right. they were too honest. Mm -hmm. They were too honest when they left office to take He's stuff with them. He's a trailblazer. You know, I mean, if he took a couple of ashtrays <laughs> with him, a couple of, uh, of you know, white, uh, white House pens, things like that. <laughs> but these are classified and top House. secret uh, documents. <laughs> I mean, you know, I had top secret clearance when I was in the Navy, uh, but uh, I didn't get to take any of that stuff home. You find it, Phil? Yeah, I Keep did. Looking. Keep looking. I found it. Keep looking. Uh, and I found it from CBS News. Go ahead, keep looking. Uh, and what was it saying? Uh, the headline is Clinton Secrets in His Sock Drawer. It's really? a former Big President news. Bill Clinton had lots of socks. Uh, he sock. kept all his secrets. Wasn't socks one of the names of his cats? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he kept <laughs> socks in his drawer. Yeah. 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 Let's see if I can send it to Alex. Uh, don't send oh, it to me because I'm not going to read it, okay? Well, You're wasting your time. Anyway. You're wasting your time. I got lots of secrets in my sock drawer, but they're not top secret documents. I mean, you're not I, Bill Clinton either. I think what Bill Clinton had in his sock drawer were copies of Playboy and Hustler. Yeah, those kind of <laughs> yeah. secrets. I, I sent it so you could see the headline because you claim, Alex, that you've never seen or heard uh, of this issue. And I got that from your left wing CBS News. Uh, you said that the, yeah. he had was also on the Washington Times in his sock drawer, and the headline does is that not, not say a fake that. story. Uh, I said that he had tapes uh, from the White House in his sock drawer. Oh, and what? You're talking about top secret. You're talking about top secret. This stuff, was the tape. archives. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Phil. Oh, it Phil, Phil it said secret, it's Phil. where he, he kept. Uh, hold on a second. Let me use my glasses here because I'm reading it off my watch. Uh, mm -hmm. It says it's where he kept all of his secrets recorded on tape. Okay, what secrets? The White House secrets. No, 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 no. no. They might probably, have been personal. They, probably Hillary's bra size. They, they must secret. might have been personal. No, yeah. it wasn't personal. It was, no, it, was no, it, did, it, no, it didn't say bra government. Size. It didn't well, say you government. Gotta, you got to look a little further. You got to realize hey, that CBS News is the whitewash. Make it up, Phil. <laughs> CBS is going to whitewash. Oh, so you're going to take it and then you're going to impose your own thoughts on what it's all about. No, no because the truth will be on the Washington Times. Oh. There's a stamp. Oh, well, stamp. Washington Times. That top secret. Yeah, yeah, right. Sit, sit back while Rome, while Rome burns. Hey, it's Alex red, too. Middle. It's red. <laughs> all right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe you. Everything you say, Phil, is absolutely. I'll go back and I'll read this thing after the show, and that's probably not what it's going to say. It's going to say he kept all his secrets in his sock drawer. No. Well, I kept a lot of my secrets in my he sock drawer. Not, White not House top House. secret. White House secrets. Top that's, secret? That's top secret? Does it say top Wait. secret? Does it say classified? I don't know. This is the CBS article. If you read the Washington well, no, Post. No, no. Oh, the recent Washington Times. Yeah, I'm going to read. Who who owns the Washington Times? Uh, Sun Young Moon. Sun Young Moon. Yeah, right. Oh boy, I'm going to. We gotta... didn't have anything to do with editorial. Uh... Boy, where you go yeah, for your really. news? You know, we really. I think we make a big mistake, and I think my wife makes the same mistake with MSNBC, of ensconcing our entire world or, or creating a, our perception of the world around sources that are telling us what we want to hear. Yeah. You know, uh, you should really go to sources you don't want to, you know, believe or, or hear and, and hear the other sides of these things. You know, because sometimes, I mean, look, you know, Fox is wrong most of the time. I mean, they're being sued five ways from Sunday by people for just lying in their news. Uh, and, uh, uh, but yet... If I watch Fox for 24 hours, I'm sure a couple of times a day they're right. You know, they're not telling a lie or there's a scintilla of truth to what they're saying. 
But, you know, I quite frankly, I would get bored if I were watching Fox all the time and hearing over and over again about Hunter Biden's uh, uh, laptop. laptop. Oh, yeah. the laptop. I, it's like a soap opera. Yeah, it's like a soap opera. At it, least it, Tony's starting to learn that most of what Phil says is not right. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I was thinking about this the other day because I tuned into Fox and they're talking about Hunter Biden's laptop. Uh, and I'm going... When's the last time I heard either CNN or MSNBC or any of the other news networks talk about Hunter Biden's laptop? At least they're not talking about the hurricane. You know what Hunter Biden's laptop, <laughs> yeah, right. you know what Hunter Biden's laptop provides? It re uh, provides third-party independent verification of what went on with Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. Uh, in Ukraine and a number of other things mm -hmm. and how crooked well, they work. I'm glad you're really educated on that. Who told you that one? Sean Hannity? Really. Yeah. Tucker Carlson? Probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. And these are the same people who are being sued now by Dominion. And yeah. Dominion is, uh, Dominion probably fixed the election. Yeah. Oh, God. You know? <sighs> Good, I'm using we ought to go back to the weather. <laughs> Yeah, and now here's Phil with the weather. And and the the guy Mike Lindell proves me right. You know, the, he he claimed oh, like, he, like, he, like he like he like he. Hey, Dominion can sue right. anybody they want. You, you know? know, who can completely decimate a pillow business? That's what I want to know. Yeah, he, he ran he, out of Giza sheets. Like he it was the left. Left. Yeah, now he's selling bamboo sheets to help keep you cool. Oh, I, saw I, I saw that bamboo sheets. Don't you get slivers from that? Right. Uh, <laughs> you just can't move around that much, but it, it's the most comfortable sheet I've really? ever had. Is, is, isn't that how they make sushi? They put the seaweed and the, and the yeah. rice and yeah. stuff with yeah. a piece yeah. of bamboo. Yeah, you got it. You know it. You know it. It's, it's fabric. Uh, it, it's just the fibers, I guess. Sure, sure. I've heard that the pillow is one of the most uncomfortable pillows anybody slept yes, on. My mother had one, and she didn't Absolutely like it. it wasn't the worst. I, I, I love my 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 pillow pillow, but Bill hates it. One today in and the did you buy it before he became uh, crazy, or did you buy it? Oh, since? absolutely. I bought him in twenty twenty. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Great. Twenty. Oh no, uh, earlier than that. Twenty. Yeah. I got okay. him. <clears throat> When Alan got crazy. No, you know, there are times that you really should keep your mouth shut. I mean, if Ooh. you're a guy who sells pillows on TV and your pillow business is doing really well. You got to sleep. So uh, you need a what makes you think America wants to hear your political opinion? Exactly. You know, really and you should it. just shut the fuck up and sell your pillows and live the good life. Yep. It's the divisive uh, atmosphere. No, but what uh, I'm saying, Phil, is I just side. say He's... what what, <clears throat> what what possessed him to think that as a pillow maker anybody gave a shit about what he thought about politics. He he wrote he wrote a book, and it's called From Felon to Something. He was a crack at it. Yes, yeah. and, yes, and he he's st and, and he still felony. is. He may be back. Maybe he's away. not doing it, but he wishes he yeah. were. You know, there's nothing. It, it, no it's uh, there are people who quit drugs, and they 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 get a new. Well, yeah, habit. his was Jesus. Huh? Yeah. His oh, was Jesus. Oh, oh yeah, they replaced drugs with Jesus. Quite frankly, I'd <laughs> rather do drugs than do Jesus. To be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm you know. I guess. I guess uh, they haul you oh, out hey, on the cross. I just looked. I better go oh, here. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Oh, wait, Rob, why am I? Why do I always play that theme song? Why do I play do that? Know? I don't know why. Anyway, there's that theme song. The right theme song, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I gotta go because if Jax wants to do a show, well, he's, he's got, uh, we got a minute and a half. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Jeff for being here. In the very beginning, he was waiting online when I finally went on. Uh, uh, Alan, thank you. Thank you, Phil, for taking pity on me. I wish you hadn't. Uh, also, thank you, uh, um, uh, Tony, for your, you know. When do you start your cancer treatments? Oh, I have to go for my, my uh, simulation. Uh, oh, for the rehearsal. Yeah. 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 I'll let you know. I'll call you tomorrow night. Okay, yeah. Right. I hope it's painless. Oh, I no, it's, it's painless. Cancer. It's fun. It's The radiation part of it's fun. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, ca I'm calling your doctor and telling him when he in puts the seeds in, though, not to give you any anesthetic. Uh, let's see here. Patrick, 
Thank you for calling. It's wonderful to see you here, as always. Uh, uh, Kevin, I'm so glad you called. Always a positive thing. And, and of course, Charlie, hopefully we'll see you more, you know. I'll be here tomorrow night. He'll be here tomorrow night. Okay. Everybody, give yourself a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. All righty. Hey, that's it for them. They're out of here. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's going to be here with the intersection, and we think it's going to work tonight. Okay. So uh, stick around. Uh, go over to our uh, live audio uh, live feed. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, as always, I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>